Section four of the Book of Halloween by Ruth Edna Kelly. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. Chapter four. Pomona. Ops was the Latin goddess of plenty. Single parts of her province were taken over by various other divinities, among whom was Pomona, Pomorum Patrona, she who cares for fruits. She is represented as a maiden with fruit in her arms and a pruning knife in her hand. I am the ancient apple queen, as once I was, so I am now, for evermore a hope unseen, betwixt the blossom and the bough. Ah, where's the river's hidden gold, and where's the windy grave of Troy? Yet come I, as I came of old, from out the heart of summer's joy. Morris, Pomona Many Roman poets told stories about her, the best known being by Ovid, who says that she was wooed by many orchard gods, but preferred to remain unmarried. Among her suitors was Vertumnus, the charger, the god of the turning year, who had the charge of the exchange of trade, the turning of river channels, and chiefly of the change in nature from flower to ripe fruit. True to his character, he took many forms to gain Pomona's love. Now he was a ploughman, spring, now a fisherman, summer, now a reaper, autumn. At last he took the likeness of an old woman, winter, and went to gossip with Pomona. After sounding her mind and finding her averse to marriage, the woman pleaded for Vertumnus's success. Is he not the first to have the fruits which are thy delight? And does he not hold thy gifts in his joyous right hand? Ovid, Vertumnus and Pomona. Then the crone told her the story of Anaxarit, who was so cold to her lover Iphis that he hanged himself, and she at the window watching his funeral train pass by was changed into a marble statue. Advising Pomona to avoid such a fate, Vertumnus donned his proper form, that of a handsome young man, and Pomona, moved by the story and his beauty, yielded and became his wife. Vertumnus had a statue in the Tuscan Way in Rome, and a temple. His festival, the Vortumnalia, was held on the 23rd of August, when the summer began to wane. Garlands and garden produce were offered to him. Pomona had been assigned to one of the fifteen Flamina, priests whose duty it was to kindle the fire for special sacrifices. She had a grove near Ostia where a harvest festival was held about November 1st. Not much is known of the ceremonies, but from the similar August holiday much may be deduced. Then the deities of fire and winter were propitiated that their disfavor might not stop the crops. On Pomona's day doubtless thanks was rendered them for their aid to the harvest. An offering of first fruits was made in August, in November the winter store of nuts and apples was opened. The horses released from toil contended in races. From Pomona's festival nuts and apples, from the Druidic Samhain the supernatural element, combined to give later generations the charms and omens from nuts and apples, which are made trials of at Halloween. End of section 4. Read by Professor Heather and By. For more free audiobooks or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org.